the tasks for the project was deciding which accounting issues are specific to MPOs, different from the for-profit or the public sector entities, and therefore needing different guidance. So a long list of 20 issues was drawn up based on research, but it wasn't feasible to address all of them in the time and budget available. So, uh, so we developed some criteria to prioritize the topics and assess the long list against those criteria to come up with a short list of 10 topics, which are covered in part two of the consultation paper. So in the consultation paper, we asked these three questions. Is the long list complete or are there other issues that we should also be considering? Are they the right criteria? And do you agree with the short list? Now, 67% of respondents thought the long list was complete. Some thought that additional topics should be added and others that some should be removed. In terms of topics that should be added to the long list, three of those mentioned were actually already on the list. That is foreign exchange transactions, related parties and heritage assets, um, as well as reserves and restricted funds, which are set to be included within the topic we have called presentation of financial statements. Other subjects of uh, concepts and pervasive principles was also mentioned by respondents, and those issues will be considered while we make modifications to the concepts and pervasive principles section of uh, the IFRS for SME. New topics that were suggested for the long list uh, included pension costs, social impact accounting, service contracts, cash flow statement, and joint activities. And we will be giving consideration uh, about whether or not to add these to the long list. Some respondents suggested removing topics from the long list, questioning whether they were really NPO specific issues. And that included investments, service concessions, and foreign currency transactions. Um, now these topics will remain on the long list, but further work will be done to articulate why they belong there. Now, in terms of the criteria for prioritization, there was general support with 80% agreeing. The comments of the other 20% have been really helpful in adding nuance, but none suggested a fundamental changes to the criteria. And then in terms of the shortlist itself, 58% agreed. A number of respondents suggested adding foreign currency transactions, uh, and this was also mentioned frequently during our outreach events. There was some discussion in the advisory groups as to whether foreign currency presented any accounting issues that were unique for the sector. Taking account of this feedback, the project has decided to add foreign currency transactions to the shortlist, noting that they can create sector specific accounting issues especially in relation to fund accounting uh, and expenditure classification. Apart from foreign exchange, respondents also recommended other topics to be added to the shortlist, namely uh, legacy income, investments, consolidation, leases and grant liabilities. Now, whilst noting the responses made, Based on the arguments presented, we were not persuaded that any of those topics should be promoted to the shortlist at this time.